This is an ACS running with eight pumps in a four cubic liter tank. And right now we have a power consumption on the ACS. of approximately 300 watts. You see the programming of the pump. So depending on the wave, the power consumption is switching. And we have a day mode. And now my colleague will switch the whole tank into night mode by just covering the light sensor. And you hear it already, the noise gets lower. The tank is more silent. And now we look on the ACS again. And if you now look at the energy consumption sum, it's only approximately 120 watts. So still all eight pumps now are running in night mode. And all the pumps are connected to this one ACS. And every pump is doing a different program. So one's doing a wave. One's doing uh, permanent mode, others are doing random mode. And if we now put the light sensor again uh, into the light, so we get day mode. The ACS automatically turns the pumps up. And now we get the tank going again. And of course, all the pumps are controlled by the ACS, and that means in case of power failure, automatically the ACS switches the relay and notifies you of the alarm. Another short information for the, concerning the feeding brake on the ACS. If you have a bigger system, all pumps are running. And now you would like to feed the fish and would have a, uh, no current in the tank. Then of course you have a button. It's called pause. You press that button. And now all the pumps are switched into feeding brake. This means the pumps are running with 5%, so no animals will um, enter the, the outlets of the, the pumps and then uh, you have a problem with the fish stuck in your impeller wheel. And as soon as the three minutes are over, then the ACS automatically returns with the, um, all the programs that were active before. And of course you can quit the brake manually by just pressing the pause button again. And then all the program profiles are active. Another function of the ACS if you uh, want to switch off your pumps for a longer time, you can press the enter button in the overview screen and then you go into the manual mode. And now you can switch all pumps to stop. And now the pumps are all stopped and there won't be an error notification. So this is basically for, if you know what you're doing, then you can switch off the pumps in the, this way to do a servicing, or you can now turn up uh, a pump uh, to a separate value which you can adjust so you can on the display choose the pump with the left and right button and then adjust the pump to a separate value. If you want to quit the manual mode just press the enter button again and all the programs become active again. The next function on the ACS is to find out some detailed information about uh, each pump. If you switch to mode, then you can choose with the plus and minus buttons the pump number, and you will see the hardware that is connected on that port. If you press mode again, you find the firmware of the pump, just internal information about the software status, with another button, you find the speed of pump number one, for example, right now 33% and the pump is doing 1175 RPM. You can, of course, switch to pump number two to see what that one's doing. It's running at 10% of 500 RPM. 
And now you can find out the driver temperature, which means the temperature of the uh, cooler on the back of the driver. That depends, of course, on the power the pump is doing right now. It's in degrees Celsius. When you press mode again, you can see the single power of this one pump we've chosen. So you know that pump number 6 is running at 32 watts. Pump number 7 running at 93 watts. If you press mode again, you're back into the overview.